Here I am deep in training. Whew. This is part one, everyone. You've got to watch this, it's bonkers. And it's for the best cause. You don't even have to donate. Just watch, like and subscribe, all that crap. Love you lots, I'm gonna carry on now. Cause I'm looking. This is gonna be absolutely mental. So welcome back everyone. This is Milo Studios. I am Paul. I build guitars under the name Richard's Custom Guitars and I make videos about what I'm doing. You might agree with everything I do, you might not. You might vehemently disagree with everything I do. But there's more than one way to skin a cat. Ask any cat with no skin. This is a new series. If, you, if you're not aware, the Guitar Builders Collective commemorates the life of this guy, Jürgen Zoller who made Zoller guitars and sadly lost his battle against leukemia a few years ago. Um, so every year, seemingly every year, the Guitar Builders Collective, who I've linked below, they commemorate Jürgen by doing um, a build normally centered around something a little bit mental. This year, they've gone for a guitar. Can you build a guitar using materials you've built at a big box store? Now in the UK, I run a kitchen business and I tend to use predominantly Howden's joinery. They very kindly sponsored this, this entire build actually by giving me all the materials I needed for free. So thank you very much, Anthony and the team at Cat Down Howden's. Hopefully they'll be spreading the word about this. I'm gonna build a guitar out of materials I would normally be putting in people's houses for a kitchen. Insane. Even if you don't pay any money or do any sponsorship or do anything, you can still get involved with this process and all you've got to do is watch this build series like and subscribe leave a comment because the more you do that the more people will see it so if you do that you've done your part and that's all i ask really and i like your comments because most of you are really friendly so without further ado let's introduce you to what we're going to do in this video today you're going to see what i'm going to build you're going to see the materials you're going to see the guitar that i'm inspired by because i've bought one because i didn't i've never had one and also, um, we're gonna have to make some templates because I've got no templates for this type of guitar. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get to grips with it all. First things first, right? The guitar is inspired by this geezer. Most of you know who Chris Buck is. He plays a fantastic gold Revstar. I love a Revstar, never had one. Just thought it was a sexy guitar. So I've bought something gold. So we've got oh, a brass effect kitchen splashback. Are you out of your goddamn mind? So already we're off to a slightly mental start. Um, this is gonna be the front and the back of the guitar. It's gonna be double bound. We're gonna, so there you go. It's a gold guitar just like Chris's Revstar. So that's the first thing that's a bit bonkers. There isn't a lot of choice for things to make a neck out of at Howden's, but I did look on their website and I noticed that they sell oak lipping, which is eight mil by 40 mil. Which actually, if I laminate this enough times, I can make myself a pretty sexy neck blank, actually, because I need to be able to do an angled headstock and all the rest of it. Um, probably gonna be a bolt on neck, which Revstars haven't got, but that's what I'm gonna use. It's gonna be a one piece neck so that you can see the laminations from the fretboard all the way through. We're not gonna pull any punches. Um, skunk stripe at the bottom, because I already just learned that on the last build and I love it. Spoke wheel truss rod, because that's just cool and modern and easy. Um, I'll do something cool with the inlay, something maybe to do with the cancer symbol, but nothing too garish, something that still looks cool. Um, got a few ideas there, but if you've watched my videos before, you know that ideas change and I'll leave them outside if I've had enough of them. So that's what our neck's gonna be. The core of the guitar, funnily enough, is gonna be a bit of oak work top. Bit of oak work top in the core. So that's gonna be sandwiched. This is 22 mil. That upstand is 10, so we're gonna have 42 mil of thickness girths. There you go. I'm gonna keep the language to a minimum on these videos because it's a respectful little cause and uh, I want lots and lots of people to watch it. If you watched some of my previous videos, I apologize for pulling less punches in those. Right, there's our materials. What am I gonna bung in it just quickly? I've got a set of Clusen open gear three aside tuners that I've been holding on to for ages because they're lovely. But I'm gonna put them on this build, all right? So I, I think they were like 70 odd quid. 
That's one of my donations. We might have cream knobs, that looks nice and gold. We might have silver knobs, I don't know about that yet. I'm gonna be using Warman pickups. Um, I love these, they're actually a really low cost option, but you can check them out, I'll put a link below. And uh, these are basically PAFs and they're mustard. They're really nice, they're really nice. They're not mustard, they're metal. That's what we're building. Do you wanna see what I'm copying? Cause that's quite cool. I've been having a bit of fun with it. And um, this is what I bought. <laughs> This is a Revstar uh, Rusty Rat, which the model number is an RS820CR. It's got a bit of coil split and all the rest of it. So we're gonna be recreating something that looks like this. Now I can't take it apart because it's a, it's a fixed neck. Um, so I'm gonna very gently use this body to create a template. That's all I've actually got to do. I can make up the rest of it. I don't know if I'll use pickup rings. I have actually got an ABR bridge, ABR1, ABR style bridge. So we might do that. So something similar to what we've got here, but a two-parter, bit more Les Pauly. That'd be rather pleasant, wouldn't it? Can't remember what scale length this has got. It looks like it's got a 24 and three quarter inch scale length. Is that the same as Gibson? If it's just basically a bloody SG, isn't it? So that's what we're making, one of these. One of them there, it's gonna be awesome. I'll do something very similar with a layer. I'm gonna copy this as much as I can. Not sure about a pit guard yet. Who knows? I'm making it up as I go along, guys. All, you, all you've got to do is watch. All you've got to do is watch. Lovely guitar. So let's cut away and uh, make a template to start with, shall we, without wrecking this thing. Not sure I'm gonna copy the headstock yet or any of that guff, but can't be that difficult, can it? Here we go. Thank you, Henry. That's enough. I think we've got somewhere. We've got a template. Doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. So all I'm gonna do now is line this up as nicely as I can. I haven't got a, I haven't got a bloody clue how to center this. 335 divided by two is 165, 167.5. God, who is the brains of this operation? Center of the neck pocket. That should give me my center line. It's not, it's not much harder than that, really. That guitar is, well, I think we're about there. It's about that. Piece of cake. That's all I need for now. I'm gonna give us a little bit of love off camera. Next job, laminate this lot up and get it glued up. It's an exciting bit of viewing for you, isn't it? Oh, he's gluing up wood now. I'll use tight bonds so that it can become the greatest guitar in the world ever conceived. Ah! And a million clamps. What more could a man want? Right, put him away to bake in the sun. That's a neck blank glued up. We'll come back to that in the next video. Because I still haven't got a clue what to do with it. Right, the next job is just to cut this gold thing into manageable pieces. I don't know, let's, 
I'm not putting that near the bandsaw because it's brutal on the old blades. The Yamaha body is a lot smaller than I thought it was. Well, my brushed effect has to go that way, doesn't it? So looking at that, look at that. It's about that much. About that, we do that a lot around here. About that much, that'll do. Don't lose sleep over a millimeter. Again, if I can't manufacture this without scratching it, then I've got the option of painting it gold. In which case I'll do like a nitro effect and relic it just like Chris's. Um, before I do that, I'll try marking it up and relicking it naturally. No matter what happens, we'll come up with a finish option. What that finish option is at the minute, I don't know. But like I said, we'll just, we'll come up, we'll just make it up as we go along. We're making a guitar out of a kitchen. What an idiot! Could also call this video, he's making an MDF guitar, because that's essentially what we're doing. Hideous, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, MDF guitar. This guy's off his head. I don't think Leo Fender had that in mind when he came up with the electric guitar, but that's what we're doing. So calm your shit. Right, that is now pretty flat, pretty parallel. We've got a top, we've got a bottom, oh, and we've got a net blank in the oven. That's where we're going with this. This stuff is all bent to hell. I don't think wood glue is gonna stick this. I'm gonna have to epoxy this to this body. It's not actually very heavy. So, <laughs> that was technical, isn't it? It's not very heavy. We've got a few firsts going on here. And the, the biggest bugbear is the fact that at the minute there's a film on this and I don't want to take that off until I'm done and because I'm not sure, I, I'm pretty sure I can't sand this and I don't want to scratch it. The chances of that not happening are very small. Something's going to get scratched. I don't know, I'm, I'm going to scratch something. Hopefully you'll watch these videos start to finish. I don't know how many parts are going to be. I'm going to go into quite a bit of detail because sometimes I think, oh, I'll make a video and I'll scoot over some stuff. People have seen it all before, but a lot of viewers are new and you want to see things in detail. So I'm going to put a bit more detail into these videos. There isn't normally a plan. You don't have to have a plan. Rules are just shite. And you can't have rules when you're making a guitar out of stuff that has got no right being a guitar. The one aim I have got though is to make this thing as beautifully as any other guitar you pick up off the shelf. There's no reason why this can't be amazing. Quite simple really. It's just, it's just getting a little order in my head. So please like, comment and subscribe. Comment away, tell me what you think. Is this bonkers? Um, if you're watching this in the future, hello future you, welcome to past me. Comment anyway, I don't care if it's a year old. Tell us what you think. What would you have done different, all right? Don't be an asshole, because no one likes them. The community of luthiers that watch this channel, generally, we're all pretty good. So, no question's a stupid question, as long as you don't ask it like a tit. Whew, I think that's it, I think that's where we are. This is one of those occasions where raising awareness and liking and commenting and subscribing will actually make a difference because someone else might see the video who, who is prepared to buy this in an auction. And that's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna auction this off for 1p reserve. Every penny of that will go to Leukemia Care. So everything I do now between now and probably March 2025, all profits are gonna be going to Leukemia Care. Just do your bit, innit? Just do your bit, it's not hard. It's literally a finger blast. I said I wouldn't do that. I said, so keep it clean, keep it clean. That's video one. Lovely, thank you. See you next time. If you've made it to the end of this video, amazing. Thank you very much. I'll see you in part two, it's one a week, normally on a weekend. That's all you've got to know. Put the notifications on. Let's actually make a difference.